Yesterday we did the beef carpaccio, today we're doing the beef tartare. So the beef here, we're going to put him into the freezer for about uh, half an hour to become firm and chilled. The ingredients for the beef tartare, it's uh, chopped red onions or shallots, shopkeepers, Dijon mustard, little brandy, some Wishershire sauce, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper. Okay, so let's uh, put all these ingredients together. In the meantime, the beef is chilling. So we take in the red onions and the capers in a bowl. We're gonna squeeze the lemon juice in it. Couple drops of Worcestershire sauce. We're mixing everything. Little bit of a black pepper. In this case, we're not gonna put no salt because here we have some Dijon mustard and it's already salted. We're mixing everything together like that. We're going to put a little bit of a brandy or cognac, some extra virgin olive oil, cup of spoon. And normally people use the egg yolk, but if you're not trusting the egg yolk for salmonella, you can use a little bit of mayo. Okay, so mixing everything together. Okay, and we let rest for like 10 minutes. Okay, so I took the filet mignon out of uh, the freezer and now I slice it. Okay, and now I'm going to chop it, uh, you know, with a knife like this, a little chunk, okay? Now I cut it in small little pieces, okay? little chopped meat and it's the best is with the knife never to do with the food processor put it back into a bowl okay now we take in the sauce we're gonna put it in and we're mixing it Best is for this to rest at least half an hour. Okay, that way it marinates nicely. Here I have a plate with some nice crostini, grilled crostini. So now I'm taking the beef inside this little cylinder. Like this, so beautiful. And here I have a little bit of arugula and tomato. I'm putting a little bit of a black pepper a pinch of salt, a little bit of aged balsamic, and some good extra virgin olive oil from my gourmet shop, Ortice, Le Marsicane. Okay, I mix everything together nicely, and then I position right here. Now the magic of removing the cylinder, a little bit more drop of extra virgin olive oil, and here you have the beef tartare. Buon appetito!